Okay, everyone, let's begin. Um, go ahead and take a seated posture. Make yourself comfortable here. And if your hips feel restricted, here, elevate them up and sit on the edge of a blanket or a block here. We're gonna take a moment to get connected. And then as you settle into the seat here, lift the spine tall. And shrug your shoulders up to your ears, roll them back and let them settle down onto your back. And rest your hands on your knees or place your palms stacked in your lap so that your arms can casually hang by your sides. And let's draw your attention inward, feel your body and notice how it arrived onto your mat this morning. Take a general sweep and scan across from the top of your head down into the base of your spine. And feel the weight of your body press downward against the mat. While at the same time feeling a little lightness and active lift up to the crown of your head. Begin to relax your eyebrows, relax your cheeks down into the jaw. And let this expression now set the tone for the rest of your practice. And as you inhale, drawing your hands to your heart center, pulling inwards, even farther stepping inside of yourself. Notice the breath flowing. And be kind to yourself here today as you practice. And allow this kindness to express outward here for the rest of your day. As you inhale, inhale, reach your palms up, interlace your hands, flip the palms skyward, tuck your chin down into your chest. And breathe in, chest lifts up to the chin. As you exhale, go sideways to the right. Look down towards your right hip. And a little tuck of the chin in here, just get a stretch to the back of the neck. Draw back to center, lengthen. And sway across to the left side. Turn your head or your eyes down to that left hip. And inhale back to center. Interlace hands behind the back of your skull. Take your thumbs right here at the base of your skull, right by your ear. Grab it and lift it. And then gently lean back. Armpits wide, chest getting wider. Let the breath rush in. One more cycle. And then as you exhale, let's bend over to the right one more time. Dip the right elbow down towards the floor and slide your right hand onto the ground. Walk it far out, push the floor away and see if you can lean your head back against your upper hand a little bit more. If you like to bend your elbows and place your right elbow a little closer to the ground, feel the depth through the side. Okay, keep leaning your head back, inhale. Rotate your top elbow down towards your um, right side. So feeling the upper back rotate. Inhale, press into the ground, lift your chest, look to the left elbow. Exhale, a gentle rotation, looking down towards the right side. Again, breathing in, open the chest, lean your head back, and exhale, rotate down. One more time, spiral up. And last time, spiral down. Back to the center, walk that right hand back, take it behind your head, grab the skull again, and with this intention, lift the skull, inhale. Side bend to the left side, tick tock over, exhale. And once you feel that side bend, let's take your left hand down onto the ground, walk it out enough so that you can lean towards it, and then push the ground away from you to direct the bow into the side again. Keep both hips anchored, start to look up towards that right elbow and lean your head back. And feel the breath moving and encourage it to rise up a little more. One more breath and keep the neck aligned with your spine. Exhale, rotate, top elbow coming down towards the left side. Turn your head towards the left shoulder and then inhale, spiral up, gaze up and exhale, bring it down. And continue on a few more cycles. If you'd like to bend a little more, bend that left elbow slightly towards the ground or even set it on the ground. And we'll finish one more rotation. 
Once your head comes back up, stretch both arms up into the air, lengthen both sides, draw the elbows down to cactus and squeeze the elbows down. Take your fingertips to the top of the shoulder caps and sweep the elbows in together to the forehead. Lift your elbows wide, circle and loop them back. And do one more up. Wide across the elbow, squeeze the shoulder blades. Last one. Pulling it back, hug it in, hold that squeeze, and then loop it the other way. Reach your elbows up, pinch them together near the forehead, and let them drop down to your chest. Two more loops, up and down. One more loop. And bring it down. Inhale, go up. Open the arms out to the right. Take a seated twist. Hold on to your right knee with your left hand. A gentle twist. Look over this right shoulder. Keep your body in that twist. Lift your chin up. Rotate your chin to the sky. Rotate your chin to that left shoulder. Hold that rotation in your neck. Take three deep breaths into the chest. Two more. And one last one. Let's sweep your right arm up by your ear. Inhale. And one last side bend here. Dip into that left side. Lean into the, the stretch. Top hand comes down. Grab a hold of your left knee. Crisscross those arms and fall back. Tuck your chin to your chest. Round the upper back and fold towards your arms. One more big breath here. Exhale it out. And lift your chest up, open the arms to cactus, squeeze elbows, inhale, reach your arms up. Take your hands to the shoulder caps again and kind of draw the tissues away from your neck. Right arm up and circle opposite sides on the shoulders. Like you're swimming or moving a bunch of oars. Okay, and then go on the opposite side. You can just naturally feel here the upper back start to articulate even more. Last one, and then we're gonna take it over to the twist. Land your right hand to the left knee and prop yourself up with that back hand. Lift tall and twist across. Breathe in, crown of the head lifts. Keep looking towards that left shoulder for one more breath. Keep the chest tall and the body in that rotation. Lift your chin up. Start to track your chin towards the sky. Rotate all the way across until your chin meets that right shoulder and hold that spiral. Focus on the inhale coming up. And as you exhale, stay anchored down through both hips. Two more breaths. One more breath. Hold that left knee tight. Lift your left arm up by your ear, inhale. And bend sideways, lean in towards that right side. Push the left leg down a little harder. Take one more stretch here. And the top hand comes around. Grab a hold of your right knee and fall back again. Tuck in. Bring a hint of a cat spine in the back side. And your inhale, sweep your arms up. Circle the elbows down to the cactus. Last squeeze in the shoulder blades. And then let that go. Let's come on down to your hands and your knees. Come into tabletop, point your feet, and press down into your hands. Open those fingertips wide. Breathe in, lift your head up, look up towards cow. Drop the belly down. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, curl, chin to your chest. Press into the feet. Breathe in again, coming up through cow pose. Soften the belly, chest pulls forward. Exhale, curl. Feel your hands and your feet press down a little firmer. Wave that spine through again, inhale. And then curl under as you exhale. Take two more. Start to bring some more fluidity and smoother transitions through the breath. So there's no break between the breaths. There might be a little pause, but no break in the breath. Keep it fluid. Last wave through cat and cow. Once you find the cat, tuck in a little tighter. Push your hips back towards the child's pose. Elongate the hips back, elongate the spine, walk the hands forward and press the floor away. One more deep, deep breath in and let it go out through the mouth. And coming up as you inhale, 
Coming up to tabletop, raise your right arm up and your left leg back. Stretch into bird dog. And tuck into the core center, so tone through the belly. Lift the lower rib cage. Lift the top heel. Breathe in. Breathe out, tap knee and elbow together. Inhale, stretch far, lift the limbs up high. Exhale, join the knee and elbow together. Again, reach, breath in. Exhale, pull in. Last time, inhale. Exhale, pull it in. Now inhale, lengthen it. Go and set your left foot on the ground behind you and your right hand on the floor underneath your shoulder. Press back into the heel of your left foot. Let the heel fall. And then we're gonna lift your right knee into your chest, draw it in. Give this right ankle a circle as you're holding it in. Circle the twirl the other way. Pull the knee into the chest one more time, inhale. And then exhale, right leg back, you're in plank. Pause, gaze forward, deep breath in. Squeeze to the legs, breath out. One more inhale. And exhale, that left knee drops down onto the ground. Go ahead and raise that right leg up. And your left arm forward. Keep igniting through the core, bringing some heat into your body. Inhale, exhale, knee and elbow together, curl in. Reach far, tone and lift. Exhale, tap. Again, lengthen, neck forward, eyes forward. Exhale, curl. Last time, reach. And curl, pull it tightly. And re-lengthen it, inhale. Set your left hand on the ground and your right toes on the mat. Push back into the heel and stretch back to that right calf. One more breath here. As you exhale, lift your left knee into your chest. Pull in, hover. Give that left ankle a circle. Circle in the opposite direction. And then straighten this left leg back and plank. Breathe in. Stack shoulders right over hands here as you breathe out. One more deep breath in. Exhale, knees lower, chest lowers, come down to the ground, lay onto the belly. Point the feet, roll the chest up, coming into cobra, inhale. Exhale, draw your chest forward and down. Again, inhale, roll up cobra. Turn your head over to the right side, press into the right hand, see if you can straighten that right elbow out a little more. And lower down, exhale. Last time, inhale, coming up. Look to the left, try to straighten out that left elbow. And bring it down, exhale. Tuck your toes, sliding back, child's pose. Breathe in. And lift your knees up, down dog. Breathe out, push back to the heels. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, feel free to walk your down dog out. Feel here the back of your legs. Or turn your head if you need a little bit more release to the neck. Give it a nod. Notice the shoulders, unshrug and shrug them just so that you can create some movement there. And then keep them broad in the unshrugged position. Let your heels sink back. Let's focus on the breath now. Your ujjayi breath begins in through your nose. And as you exhale, push back through the thighs. And inhale, press your hands down and forward. Keep your tailbone a little tilt towards the sky. Exhale. One last breath in, breathe out, and step both feet forward to the front of your mat. Come up to halfway lift, lengthen your spine, breath in. Exhale, fold yourself forward. Soft knees here, roll yourself up, stand tall. Salute your arms to the sky as your head comes up. Inhale, reach up tall, and take your arms wide to cactus, lean back, exhale. Okay, inhale, sweep up. And fold forward and down, exhale. Raise your spine, half lift, inhale. And step your left leg back, lower that knee down onto the ground, exhale. Untuck the left toes and reach your arms up when you're ready. Come on up to low lunge. Rise up. Feel into the front leg, press down into the heel. As you lift on your inhale, pull the chest up and slowly sway back, exhale. And be gentle, be aware. Be generous, also be kind here as you feel your body open up. We get one more inhale here, reaching high. Okay, exhale, release your hands to the floor and take three-legged down dog. Let's swing your right leg back. Shoot the leg up into the air, stretch it back. 
Give it a circle if you like. Or bend that knee and widen the hip a little bit more. Glide forward to your breath in to plank. And lowering down, bring yourself to the floor. Exhale. Point your feet. Roll up to a little bit of higher cobra perhaps. Inhale. Chin up. And exhale. Lower down. Ducking your toes. Pushing back child's pose. Elongate the spine. And lift your knees up. Down dog. Exhale. And we get one breath in. Breathe out. I'm going to step your left foot forward to your left hand. Look forward. Inhale. And step that right foot forward. Exhale. Roll up to standing. Breathe in. Come through. Upward salute. Arms skyward. Take the arms wide to cactus. Lean back. Exhale. Reach high. Inhale. And fold forward again. Exhale. Lift up halfway. Breathe in. And step the right leg back. Go ahead and lower that knee down on the ground. Untuck the right toes. And reach your arms up. Low lunge. Gaze up. And before you go backwards, put some weight into your front heel. And allow your hips to fall forward. Now gaze up. And then gentle back bend, extending the upper back. Being mindful of your neck, being gentle on your neck. And direct the movement into the upper back. There you go, two more cycles here. Letting the tailbone fall forward, one more here. And as you exhale, hand to the ground. Take three legged down dog and swing your left leg back. Take a moment there, either stretch that leg, twirl the ankle, bend that knee wide in the pelvis. In your next breath in, glide forward to plank. And coming down to the floor, knees can come down, lower all the way to the floor. Untuck the toes, come up cobra, roll the shoulder caps back, chest is broad. Exhale, lower the chest down. And tuck it back, child's pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. One breath in, breathe out, and set the right foot forward to your right hand. Look ahead of your long neck, breathe in, and step forward, left foot to meet it, exhale. Roll up, stand tall, breath in, arms skyward, reach high. Take the arms wide, cactus bend it, exhale. Inhale, sweep high, and then fold forward, exhale. We'll take a full flow here, halfway lift, breath in. And step that left leg back, lower that knee down, breath out. And reach your arms up, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to the ground. Inhale, three-legged down dog, right leg back, sweep it high. Glide to plank, exhale, lowering down to the belly. Untuck the toes, inhale, cobra, reach your chest up. Exhale, lower the chest down. Again, pulling back, child's pose, inhale. And lift it up, down dog, exhale. One breath in. Exhale, left foot forward to left hand. Look ahead of you and step forward the other foot, exhale. Roll up to standing, breathe in. Upward salute, arms high. Take the arms wide, cactus, lean back, exhale. Inhale, reach your arms again. And fold forward, empty this breath. Halfway lift, inhale. And step the right leg back and lower that knee down, exhale. Point the feet, reach your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, hands to the ground. Three-legged down dog, breath in, left leg back. Exhale, glide forward to plank, lower down to the floor, land to the belly. Untuck the toes, inhale, chest up, cobra. Exhale, lower the chest down. Slide it back, child's pose, breathe in. And lift your hips up, down dog, breathe out. One breath in. Breathe out, right foot to right hand, look ahead of you, inhale, and step forward, left foot, exhale. Roll up, salute, skyward, inhale, arms high, take the elbows wide, cactus, lean back, exhale. Reach up, inhale, one more round here, exhale, fold it down. Halfway lift, inhale, and your left leg back, lower that knee, exhale. Reach your arms by your ears, extend it up, inhale, and hands to the ground, exhale. Three-legged down dog, breath in. Gliding to plank, exhale, lowering to the ground. Point those toes, roll up cobra, extend and widen. Exhale, lower the chest. Push it back to child's pose or come up to plank, inhale. And down dog, exhale. One breath in. 
breathe out and your left foot to the left hand. Look forward, lengthen your neck, inhale, and step forward, right foot in, exhale. Roll up, stand tall, salute, skyward, inhale, arms wide, cactus, lean back, exhale. Inhale, sweep up. Last time, exhale, fold. Halfway up, breath in. Exhale, that right leg back, lower that knee down. Arms by your ears, lift tall, inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Three-legged down dog, inhale, left leg back. Exhale, glide forward to plank, lower to the floor. Untuck those toes, rolling up to cobra, wide chest. Exhale, lower down. Again, plank or child's pose, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. One breath in. Breathe out. And we're going to step that right foot to the right hands. Look ahead of you, inhale. And step that left foot forward, exhale. Glide up, stand tall, upward salute, breathe in, reach high. Take the arms of cactus, lean back, exhale. Reach high, inhale, and palms to the heart, exhale. Rolling the shoulders back, feel your body come alive. Keep that breath flowing, and we'll move right along into chair. Arms up overhead and breathe in. Sink low, feel the energy of the legs, and come into the power of the legs. Lift your toes up so you can dig your heels down. Just take your left hand down to the right knee, outer right knee crease, and rotate that right arm behind you, gaze behind you. Circle the right arm down by your side and reach it up to the air, look up. And reach it backwards, look behind you. Let the arm windmill down, we'll take two of those. Yeah, keep that breath fluid. Going one more, feeling the shoulder open up. Once your arm comes forward, reach your arms up. Both arms, stand tall. Go ahead and lift your heels. Come high into your tippy toes. And lower down to that chair. Sink down. Reset. Recreate strength. Anchor down into the heels. Neck is long. Right hand comes down. Hold the left knee or the knee crease. Lift that left side extra long. Inhale, look up. And rotate the left arm behind you. Reach far back. Take the eyes to follow. And gently sweep your arm down, go up again, and go wide, twist, rotate back. Take two more. Keep your spine long, your neck long. Notice if your forehead is jutting forward, do one more. And then as you inhale, coming all the way up to chair, stand up, lift your heels, come high to your tippy toes. Now we're going to fold it forward and down. Exhale it here. Lift yourself halfway up, breath in. Step back to high plank. And your choice of flow here, coming down halfway or lay down onto the belly. Pointing your feet, extending up to lift your chest and tuck your toes. Moving back, downward facing dog. Raise your right leg up into the air, inhale, stretch it high. Exhale, step it through between your hands. Come up to warrior two, let's open yourself up. Bring it out wide. And take a moment to feel your feet. Notice if you can bring more space to the front foot and the back foot. Angle the back heel back enough so that your uh, left hip faces the left side. And your front knee faces forward. Adjust your feet stance so that you can get your body to move in that direction. Let's turn that right palm up. Go back for reverse warrior, breathe in. Slide your left hand down that left leg and look towards that back foot. Reach farther. And then we're gonna bend that left elbow. Let's take your left hand to the left hip. Give yourself a little nudge, push it forward and bow into the stretch. Take your left hand a little higher to the rib cage, nudge it forward and keep bowing into that stretch. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, come forward. Let's lay your right arm to your front leg into side angle. Lift the left arm up overhead. It's an active reach. So notice if your body is falling down and do the reverse. Actively reach away from the ground. The bottom arm can come a little lighter now 
as you actively reach up. Just take your right palm and turn it forward. So your right fingers looking towards the direction of your right toes. Tug the bottom shoulder underneath you. Let's take that left arm up over your head. Give yourself a few more moments here to find length. Let the hips drop down a little bit each time you exhale. Make sure your neck feels long, so turn your gaze to a spot where it feels longest. And now let's get a little lighter off this bottom arm. Stretch this right arm to the horizon line. Lift it off your knee and both arms are long. Stay here, holding for three last breaths. Getting two breaths. Now really press into that front heel. And as you inhale, press yourself up, coming to standing to that warrior two. Go ahead and straighten that front leg. Hold your hands to your hips and turn your right foot in, taking a wide straddle. Breathe in, chest up tall. Exhale, fold yourself forward. Come on down. And you might turn your heels out, out a little bit wider and bring yourself deep into the fold. Go ahead and walk your hands forward in front of you. Push the floor away so you get extra length through your sides. Allow your neck to relax. Let your chest gravitate down. We're here for three more breaths. Feel the outer edges of your feet glued to the mat. You can try to push outward again for two more breaths. And here's one last cycle. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Come up to halfway lift. Breath in. And turn yourself forward. Come to the front of your mat. Pivot your feet. And let's lower the left knee down onto the ground. Um, if you have two blocks, go ahead and bring it next to you. We're going to go back to half splits. Curl the right toes up towards the sky as you sink your hips back towards that left foot. You can tuck those left toes under. Sometimes that's helpful. Kind of create a shelf there as you slide back. Go ahead and give your right foot a wipe side to side here. Wonderful. Come forward. Bend that front knee and lunge in. Let's widen your right foot out to the side and open the right knee. Let it swing out to the right side. And sometimes it's helpful to turn your right foot out at an angle before you let that knee come out. So feel all these little um, directions and small shifts that you can do so that the pelvis can be wide. Okay, you come down to your left forearm or both forearms here. And let's kind of sink in for a few more breaths. Option, if you like to take a bind, reach your right arm behind your back and roll the right shoulder back. Or even take a leg bind, you can grab the back foot and pull the heel into your buttock. Okay. What's your body craving right now? And as you go, again, remember as you go through all the poses, being gentle yet being generous and being kind as you put your body in all these positions. And let the breath move freely. Here's the last two. And once you feel the exhale, release whatever binds you have and undo this pose by straightening the front leg and we'll come into a pyramid stance. So adjust your stance. You might need to walk your front foot in a little more or forward or shorten the stance. Make sure it's wide enough that you can have your torso fall over your front leg. Here's the suggestion, walk your hands forward and push the floor away or use the blocks and push the block away so that you can direct your love, right hip crease, energy into that space and push it back. You can visualize here your right hip crease pulling back towards your left heel. If those two are attached, they're moving in the same direction. Fold in. Allow your neck to relax as your chest folds in. Here's three more breaths. Two more breaths. And 
And that final breath, you're folding in. And as you breathe in, draw the spine forward again. Come to halfway lift. You might walk your hands down underneath your shoulders. Give that front knee a little bend. We're going to lift off. The back leg lifts off the floor. And keep your hands down for a moment so you can align the hip. So the left hip looks down. All toes look down. That could be a reference point. And let's work on the hip extension here. Raise the top leg a little stronger. Squeeze into the left buttock. And now lift your chest up a little higher so it's coming up to hip level. Stay here and support yourself or take hands to the heart center. Keep your chest long. Notice if your toes are trying to turn out. Do your best to keep them turning down. Add the arms backwards as an option. Airplane or forward for warrior three version. And the more things you add, bring more awareness to see if you're tugging or gripping. That's not necessary. And go ahead and take three more breaths, flying the chest tall. Looking great, Shalini. Awesome, you guys. Go two more breaths. And one last energetic lift at the top leg. As you exhale, step your feet together. Let's say roll up, take your time, rolling up to standing, salute your arms skyward, reach high. Take the arms back to cactus, lean back, exhale. Inhale, sweep up, and fold it forward and down, exhale. Come up halfway left, breath in, and let's take a vinyasa, step back, high plank, and your choice of flow coming half plank or lower the knees and chest down. Pointing the feet, coming through that cobra, or rise all the way through full extension, up dog. And curl yourself back to down dog. Get the breath in. Let your heels pull back, exhale. One more from the hands. And lift the tailbone up, exhale. Inhale, stretch your left leg up and back. Reach it high. Exhale, step it between your hands. Pivot down to warrior two, the back heel drops. Come on up, arms wide. And so take a moment to align your feet. The right heel is gonna angle back slightly more. <clears throat> and track your front knee forward ahead of you towards the toe tips. Okay, open the arms wide or relax those shoulders down. Turn your eyes here to the front hands and see if you can soften any tight expression that's on your face and direct the effort and energy downward as your hips drop. Let's go back for reverse warrior. Breathe in, stretch long here as your left arm goes overhead. Begin by sliding the right hand down your back leg. Notice here where the stretch is in your left side and then walk your right hand up to your right hip and give it a nudge forward. See if you can direct the stretch to a different spot in your left side. And maybe walk the right hand up a little higher towards the rib cage and give it a little nudge. One long breath in here. Keep that side long. And as you exhale, bring it down, your front arm to side angle. Land it lightly on your front leg. And sway the right arm up above you. Gaze up. And so work on the active lift here. Since we have this time, sometimes as we do our other classes here, we just kind of flop in into the side angle. And so now let's refine your attention to your body and direct the effort upwards. So it's an active lift in the top side, an active drop down to the pelvis through so being lengthened in this fashion. And start to turn your left palm forward, palm face sky, Fingertips looking towards the left toes. And notice here this left shoulder blade tuck under a little bit more as you rotate your arm this way. Notice where your effort is in your legs. Even it out through both legs. In a moment, we're going to lift off. And so prepare the foundation strong. Top hand overhead, reach and elongate. You can look towards your left hand. And begin now as you inhale, slide this left arm towards the horizon line. And again, even out the effort through the both legs. Back leg is supporting as much as the front is. Go ahead and take two more full breaths. 
Here is one more. Now push into that front heel. Come back up to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, straighten that front leg. Hands to the hips. Pivot and turn the left toes in into a wide straddle. Inhale, chest up tall. Exhale, fold yourself forward. Coming down to straddle fold. This time, walk your hands through your legs. Grab the floor behind you and let your head fall down. And if you need a little more space to fold, maybe turn the heels out slightly more than your toes are. And let your spine fall down. And then check in with your breath. Notice if there's a break between the breaths. Trying to keep that transition smooth. Keep relaxing in the last two breaths in the fold. Anchor through the heels in one more fold. And then walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift your chest up. And we're going to walk your hands forward to the front of your mat. Turn and pivot. And lower that right knee down on the ground. Adjust your front foot perhaps wider to the left. Or angle your toes outward. Then let the left knee fall towards the side. Lizard lunge. Sometimes it's called dragon pose. When you're ready, you can come down to your forearms or the right forearm can come down. And so all these details here that we work helps you refine your focus. And so we can kind of move away from trying to get the pose perfect, but really hone into your awareness. And notice if you're fully present. So tempted to come into a pose and then think about our to-do list. So keep that space clear for yourself. When you're ready, you can take some binds. Wrap the arm around your back. Work on shoulder if that's what you need. Or get both. Pull the back heel in. Get some quad. Get some shoulder. Get some chest. Take a breather. And then follow the sensations here wherever they are in your body and notice if the sensations are appropriate or not. And this idea of being kind to your body, being gentle and easy yet generous and aware so you can adjust. Let's go for the last few. Finish this last breath. Okay, and then as you exhale, come out of it as carefully as you went into it. Undo all that and start to move into pyramid. Lift that back knee, straighten the front leg. Once you get there, adjust your stance. So it's a generous long stance, but not too long where it's difficult to fold forward. So find that medium spot and go ahead and come on in, fold. And lift your left toes up, dig your heel down, give your foot a swipe side to side. And since I forgot that little half split, let's stay here for just a little longer. A few more extra breaths. And try to turn that right hip forward and draw that left hip crease back here as we hang out for one more here. Okay, and then re-bend your left knee, set your foot flat, shift forward, let's raise your right leg up off the ground, lift it up, support yourself here on the blocks or on the ground for a moment so you can focus on the top leg. Start to turn all those right toes to face the ground and that's going to help you level out to the hips. And then begin to extend, lift the heel, squeeze that right leg, squeeze the right buttock. And then as you do that, push through the heel, simultaneously draw the head forward, lengthen through the upper back. And when you feel ready, hands to the heart center. 
and then adding your arms perhaps backwards or forwards and each is going to bring a different level of um, tension and intensity through your body so being mindful and know that you don't always have to go to the hardest or the most challenging position to get the most benefit. And get closer to your body and feel where your body is starting to leave the pose. And can you bring attention there to bring strength there? We're hanging out for the last three or so. Keep your breath steady and smooth. Keep refining your focus. Two more breaths. Push through the heel, a little extra strength. And then as you exhale, float this right leg down, step it down. Take your time rolling up, stand tall, inhaling, arms skyward, reach up. Arms wide, lean back, exhale. Inhale, sweep high above you. Unfold forward and down, empty this breath. Come up to halfway lift and then choose whatever leg you want to step back. We're going to take a wide straddle. So face whatever direction you feel best. And to wide straddle again. All toes facing the length of your mat, one side of your mat. Push the heels out and let's take your hands here in the center. Lift your spine up to halfway lift. So your left hand underneath your face and reach your right arm up to the sky. Gaze up, opening up to windmill. And let's take your right hand to your lower back or all the way to the left hip crease and manually lift it or suggest that left hip crease lift so the lower back is long. Then come into the rotation. Keep that bind or reach that right arm back up to the sky. Keep strong legs, breathe in. Gentle twist here as you breathe out, gaze up. Option now to walk your left hand towards your right foot or slightly outward or forward and explore a different line of stretch here in that, in that twist. Take two cycles here. One more twist. And as you exhale, release down to fold. Come right down to center. Pause for a moment. Let your neck dangle. Adjust your feet, perhaps a little bit wider or slightly more in. Feel supported. Inhale, halfway lift. Right hand starts here underneath your face. And let's take that left arm up. Start to twist. Windmill. And before you twist more, take your left hand here to the lower back, to the sacrum, or even to the right hip crease. Give yourself that external feedback. And align your pelvis here, neutral, as best as you can and begin to rotate. When you feel ready, keep that bind or reach a left arm up to the sky. Bring equal effort across both legs, both arms, even steady breaths. Feel your head, notice if your forehead is falling to the floor, draw the skull back. And often take that right hand closer to the left foot or closer to the left side different angle in that stretch. Let's hang out for the last three. One more twist. Okay, and then as you exhale, let's release, come back to center. Pause here, toe heel your feet in just a little closer, maybe two or three inches. Heels in and toes out this time. And take a squat. Let's come down to goddess, hands up to your inner legs. Turn your toes out. And then move this around side to side. And see if you can turn your toes out even more so that your knees can widen. And then drop down to the hips. Let the tailbone descend down. If you feel restricted here, walk your feet out even wider. Maybe you can bring your hips down slightly more and give it some more space. Okay, and keep moving it side to side until you find that spot where you can hold. Where it's strong, stable, and steady. Turn the fingers to face downward into the inner knees and rotate your right shoulder down. Look over that left side. Push the knees away and let your tailbone drop back. 
Okay, come back to the other side, rotate, look up, push the knees wide, and come back to center, straighten the legs out, inhale, reach your arms up into the air, cross that right arm underneath, take eagle arms, and then come back down to that goddess squat, sink down. Feel here your legs, the strength of your legs. Sometimes the tailbone might need to tuck under a little bit so that your lower back feels long as it drops. Okay, option to lift the right heel up. And then try the left side. Maybe both heels up. Go explore. Keep the elbows up. Hanging out for two more breaths. One more tailbone dropping. And then mindfully stand up, inhale, straighten the legs. Unwind the arms up over your head, reach tall. Take your hands behind your head, a gentle lean back. And reach your arms back up, inhale. Sweep the left arm underneath, crisscross for eagle arms. And squat it down again, draw the tailbone down. Come deep into the hips, into the grinds, and draw the knees wide. Again, maybe lift the left heel, feel this side. And then the right side. Perhaps both can lift. Explore and challenge yourself kindly. Elbow staying up, two cycles here. Last drop of the tailbone. And then breathe in, straighten your legs, undo the arms, reach high. Hands behind your head, lean back gently. And reach your arms up, place them on your hips, to heel your feet in together. And then turn to face forward the front of your mat. Take an upward salute, deep breath in. And we're going to fold forward and down. Exhale here. Come up halfway left, breath in. And step back to high plank. Take a flow here coming down, halfway, or lay all the way down. Point your feet, extend your chest, lift your chin. And then exhale, going back downward, facing down. Walk that down dog up. One cycle inhale. Breathe out. And step or hop through to seated posture. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Give it a little shake. Arms up into the air and breathe in. And fold yourself forward and down. Breathe out. Tuck in. Bend your knees as much as you need. And allow your spine to drape over the legs. Now as you inhale, roll back up, lengthen. Arms out in front, let's lower down to the ground. Lay down onto your backside. And hug your knees into your chest here, pull in. Rock it out a little bit side to side. Okay, take your hands behind your head and raise both legs up into the air. Stack your knees right over your hips and your Ankles over your knees, unless your knees are slightly bent. Go ahead and lift your head up. Inhale. Keep your elbows wide. Lower this left leg down and push out through the heels. So feel the same type of energy here as you did that warrior three airplane position. Push through the heels and notice how your hips are pressing against the floor. Just hold that awareness in your body. Breathe in. Exhale. Left arm reaches up. Reach for that right ankle. Keep the legs strong. Sometimes when we do this, the right leg's gonna fall into the middle. Inhale to center, lift that left leg up. Exhale, lower the right leg, hover, and try to align by taking all the right toes to face the sky. Feel that strength in the legs. Inhale, exhale, right arm reaches to the left ankle. Back to center, both legs up, inhale. And then switching side to side. Keep that awareness so that your legs are under your control and you're not flailing just to do the movement. Moving with intention and awareness. And you might notice how your body is just extra strong here when your awareness is aligned to your intention. Let's go for the last five. Four, three, good, nice and strong, two, and one last, 
coming up. Hold the legs up, flex the feet. Exhale, lower the head and uh, hug your knees into your chest. Rock it out here. Gentle circle. And set your feet flat underneath you, arms by your sides. Firm the feet. If you have a block, you can put it between your knees. Come on up, lift your hips and extend the hips up to bridge. Relax the belly here as your hips rise. Feel the heels. Turn the heels slightly outward. It's just a teeny bit of a turn. So you can really feel the edges of your feet down. And come on up, lift the thighs. Walk the shoulders under. Take a few deep breaths into the belly. Let the belly stretch and expand. And as you exhale, squeeze into the glutes, firm up to the legs, inner knees pulling towards each other. Now let's move the breath up higher. Breath into chest, rib cage lifts. Exhale and push into the shoulders. And everything lifts for two more cycles here. One more breath. And as you exhale, open the arms out to the sides. Carefully roll down from the upper back. Lift your heels, perhaps, and lower all the way down to the tailbone. Once your hips are on the ground, take a pelvic rock or wipe your knees out side to side. Now you return back to center. Do bridge one more time or place your hands alongside your head. And we'll come up towards a wheel if your body's craving a wheel. Feel free to put a block underneath you. And keep feeling here the power of your legs here since we did work quite a bit in the legs and the hips. Keep the energy alive in that space. Maybe lift the heels or a foot into the air and challenge yourself kindly. Match the breath to the strength that's in your body. So keeping that strong ujjayi breath. Great. Okay. Whenever you feel ready to lower, use your exhale and bring yourself down, roll it down. Wipe it out side to side. And let's take both knees into your chest, hug it in. Join the feet together and push the knees wide. Take swimming frog legs, knees forward, knees into your chest, out wide. Swim the legs across. Okay, and then reverse that direction, going the opposite direction. Okay, and then hug both knees into your chest. Let's stretch your left leg down into the ground. Flex your foot yeah, and try to get your toes to face up, your right toes, or I'm sorry, your left toes, and take your left hand into the left hip crease, press that area down. And then your right hand draws that right knee slightly towards the armpit. Raise your right leg up to the sky, hold the back of that leg. If you have a strap handy, you can grab and hook your foot. And gently draw your right leg towards your chest. As it comes in closer, note here if this left foot wants to turn out. And again, keep all toes facing the sky as best as you can. Lift your forehead towards your right knee, draw it in. And then exhale, lower the head down. Let's take your right leg across for our supine twist. And out, stretch this right arm wide across. Relax here. And turn your head either to the right or the left. Or keep it neutral. And let your neck relax. And begin to slow down the breath. And 
the next time you inhale, bring this right knee back into your chest, hug it in. And hold this outer right foot, half happy baby. Stack your heel over this right knee. And one more time, bringing awareness to the left foot, all toes face the sky. And bring this right knee back in, pull that left knee into your chest, hug it in. Stretch this right leg onto the ground. Dig the heel into the mats and rotate all the right toes to face the sky. If it helps to put your right hand on that right hip crease to anchor it down. And then slightly draw that left knee towards your armpit. Big squeeze. Your inhale, stretch your left leg up into the air. Keep that foot flexed. Hold on to the back of the leg and start to guide it towards your chest. And then you're gonna lift your forehead up towards your front, uh, top shin, draw it in. Keep pushing down to the left, uh, right heel. And lowering the head down, let the skull relax on the ground. Take that twist across. Supine twist to the right side. Draw this left shoulder wide and broad and let it relax. I'm gonna take one more slow breath. And once that breath completes, bring your left knee in Hold the outer edge of this left foot, half baby. And your awareness to that right toes one last time. Curl the toes to the sky. As you stack your left heel over the left knee, widen the knee out wide. Okay, and then coming back to center, hugging both knees into your chest. Squeeze in. Roll it out sideways. See if you like to take happy baby. Grab a hold of both feet. Push the tailbone down. And draw the shoulder blades down. Press them against the ground. One more full, full inhale into the belly. Breathe it out. And both legs up into the air. Stretch them up. Arms by your sides. Give your ankles a roll. And part your legs about hip width and rotate your legs as you lower them down towards the ground. And prepare your body for Shavasana. Relax here from the forehead center, scanning downwards. Bring your arms and legs out as wide as you need. Begin to relax down into the jaw, soften into the throat, and let the weight of your body press down into the ground. You feel that breath transition through, and once you notice the exhale, let your body become still.
begin to bring your awareness now into your body. And gently deepen the breath into the belly. And let it exhale out to the mouth. Stay within for a few more moments. Notice the space that you created for your body, for your mind, for your heart. And when you're ready here, stretch your arms up over your head. Point the feet, elongate. And then hug your knees into your chest. Let's roll yourself over to the other side. And come on up to a seated posture, lifting your spine up tall. Give your shoulders a shrug. Let them stay snug on your back, keeping your heart wide and open. And notice the crown of the head lifted tall here. Drawing your hands together to the heart center. Pausing here for a moment of gratitude. Giving thanks for this practice, for this time that we can be together. And for your body and all that it can do for you and all that it did for you. Your last inhale here, thumbs rising to your forehead center. Acknowledging the light and the love that's within you and that's within all of us. And in this place, one mind, one heart, we are one. Thank you so much for your practice. Namaste.